Hey everyone, and welcome back. So in this third video about polarity, we are going to be covering alternating current. Uh, but just a quick review, let's go over uh, some of the information that the previous two videos covered. So we know that there are two main types of current. There's direct current and alternating current. Now, when we start thinking about direct current, we want to remember that the electricity flows in only one direction. It goes from negative to positive, and there are two types of direct current. There's direct current electrode positive, or DCEP, and direct current electrode negative, or DCEN. Now, when we start talking about alternating current, the very first difference you're going to learn about is that with alternating current, or AC for short, the current will actually travel in both directions. However, this doesn't happen at the same time. The current travels in one direction, it stops, and then it travels in the opposite direction. And this is something that's measured in what's called Hertz. Uh, so if you're familiar with electricity, you've probably heard the term Hertz before. So Hertz and alternating current kind of go hand in hand. Now, in the U.S., and we're going to be focusing on information only related to the U.S., the current travels in both directions, and it changes directions about 120 times per second. Now, let's say, for example, your current travels out of the negative side to the positive, and then it stops and reverses direction from the positive to the negative. This is considered one cycle. So when the current goes in one direction, stops, and then reverses in the opposite direction, that is one cycle. So when you think of the current changing directions 120 times per second, all we need to do is divide that by two, and we'll know that there are 60 cycles per second. We can also call that 60 hertz. So sometimes in the welding world, you'll hear someone uh, talk about what hertz they sent their machine to. And this is basically just them saying that they have their machine change the direction, you know, however many times per second uh, that they want in order to achieve certain characteristics of the welding arc, the weld, so on and so forth. But normally when you're using alternating current, you're welding on stuff like aluminum and we're not going to be doing that in this course. Uh, so we're just going to stick to some of the basics. But moving on. Um, so when we think of anything outside of the USA, Europe, for example, instead of 120 times a second, the current in other countries changes about 100 times a second. So 50 cycles. So just a quick recap, with alternating current, current flows in both directions, but not at the same time. It will travel in one direction, stop, and then travel in the other. This happens 120 times per second, uh, and there are 60 cycles per second. So the direction, or the change in direction happens 120 times, but then current flows in both directions in 60 cycles. Now let's go ahead and look at a live representation of alternating current. And so here we have the same diagram that I've used in previous two videos with direct current. So this is going to be for alternating current. We got the same welding machine, same work table, work piece, ground clamp, electrode cable, positive and negative terminals. Now we can see with the arrows that they're pointing in two different directions. So the arrows on the outside of the circuit are traveling from negative to positive and the arrows on the inside are traveling from positive to negative. So just like with alternating current, this is showing that the current is traveling in both directions but the, the arrows aren't moving here, so it seems like they're traveling in both directions at the same time. But there is a change in directions, so current does flow one way, stops, and then flows in the other way. So let me go ahead and change frames here. 
All right, here we go. So you can see that current travels one way and then it stops and it changes direction. Now this is slowed down to about one or two times per second. So this is really slow. So if we think back to uh, some of the stuff that we saw previously, we know that current changes direction 120 times per second. And with this only being one or two times per second, it happens pretty fast. Now, when you eventually get to that point in the welding program where you're welding on stuff like aluminum and you're able to change the hertz or what some machines will call frequency, uh, you'll be able to hear the difference in how many times per second the current is changing direction. Um, but again, we're not going to get that far. This is only for the intro course, so we're going to keep things nice and nice and simple. So this is slowed down. Now let me go ahead and change frames. Um, I was able to speed this up to where it occurs 30 times per second. So let me go ahead and change, change frames so you can see that. Okay, so this is displaying current changing 30 times per second. So you can see that that's really fast, right? It's almost like the speed at which you blink your eyes. Now, I tried with the video software, video editing software that I have on my laptop to adjust this to 60 times per second, uh, but the fastest I was able to do was 30 times per second. So you can imagine at 120 times per second, this is happening so fast, you can't see it with the naked eye, but later on you'll learn how to tell the difference in the way it sounds. Now some of you are probably wondering about heat distribution. If we think back to direct current electrode positive, the heat distribution was one way, and with direct current electrode negative, heat distribution was another way. So let's go ahead and address that with alternating current. So with alternating current, the heat distribution is actually 50-50. So 50% or one half of the heat is going to be focused on the electrode and the other 50% or one half is going to be focused on the workpiece. Now this is going to change some characteristics of the welding arc and of the weld itself, but we'll get into that once the time comes. Again, let's just keep this kind of simple. So real quick before this video ends, just remember with alternating current, current flows in both directions but it has to stop before it can change directions it changes directions 120 times per second consisting of 60 cycles per second and one cycle consists of the current flowing one way stopping and then traveling the other way and the heat distribution is 50 50. and that's pretty much all you need to know moving forward until we get to the point where you're actually welding on stuff that requires alternating current. So, thank you for watching.